Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to show you how to increase revenue per customer. I call this RPC for short. And I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do this. I'm going to show you three different ways to increase revenue per customer. And a lot of coaches that I work with, especially coaches I work with one-on-one, -on -one, they can grow their business substantially without having to have a bunch of new customers and new clients. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video step-by-step. -step. Now, the first thing that we got to do is we got to figure out how valuable your current customers are. And I will tell you, 99% of coaches never do what I'm about to show you here. This is going to open your eyes to what you're currently doing and the possibilities of where you can't go with this business. So the first thing we got to do is we got to look at the numbers. So you got to log into your payment system, whatever you're using, to pull up this data. And I want you to do two different things. So number one, I want you to look at the last 12 months specifically. And I want you to take the total customers that you have, divide that by 12 months, and that's going to be total what you made per month per customer. All right, that's a really key stat to look at. Um, ideally, your business is generating north of $200 per month per customer. That would be ideal. If you're making less than that, set up a call with me. I will show you how to charge at least that much per month. Um, but that's the first number we want to look at is total customers divided by 12 months. That is your total monthly average. So you know what you're making per month, what you did over the last year. All right. The next thing, in my opinion, is more important. This is take the total revenue. So the amount of money, total amount of money you made last year, last 12 months, and divide that by how many customers do you have. This is gonna give you the total annual average of what each customer is actually worth to your business. A lot of coaches that I talk to, their total annual average is less than like $500. And in my opinion, that's really, really low for this industry. You need to be hovering ideally between, I'd say a thousand and $3,000. Like if you're charging $200 per month, that's $2,400 per year. So ideally on the low end, you're at like a thousand per customer. Um, on the high end, like <laughs> it could be 10K per customer. It all comes down to your service, what you offer. But this, these two numbers are really, really key. That's the first thing I want you to do. All right. The next thing I want you to do, all right, is I'm going to show you how to increase your revenue per customer through three really, really simple ways. Okay. So the first thing, I have said this on this channel, a lot of coaches don't do what I'm about to show you. This instantly adds more revenue per customer um, across the board within your business. And what it is, it's a one time per month clinic. And what we wanna do is set these clinics up where your current customers, they can drop into these clinics at either a members only discount or a members only subscription, where instead of paying X amount per clinic, like all the non-members would be, they're paying at a discount. So that alone will increase the revenue per customer because you're going to get a lot of current clients that want more training with you and they're buying the separate service from you. So that's the first thing, right? So setting that up is not hard. It's actually really easy. Um, and you just have to be organized with how you sell it when you run those clinics and be really strategic with the timing. Okay, but that's not only going to bring in more revenue per customer, it's also going to bring in new customers that wouldn't train with you in your actual program, because there's going to be some people that want to work with you, but they can't commit to seeing you every week. So you need to have an opportunity to get them into your, your program as a customer without having to join your full program. So them joining into this, it's going to bring in new customers that you wouldn't have gotten in the first place. So that is how we want to do uh, this the first way, okay? The second way is we want to sell higher ticket commitments, okay? So instead of selling month to month or session to session, we want you to start selling six to 12 month commitments that range between like 2K and 5K upfront, or you could have them pay month to month, but they're on a actual legit contract with you. Now, when you do this, the referrals that you end up getting from these really committed clients, they're going to be prone to joining a program over a longer period of time because they are friends with people who are already committed to your program. So you're not going to get flaky uh, sort of new clients, new referrals. You're going to be getting referrals 
that are the exact same way as your current clients. So like I said, you want to have this set up to where you're charging a higher ticket sort of fee. This can be in one-on-one -on -one training or in group training, right? Working with a coach right now, it charges $500 per month for group training. It is possible you can do it if your program is good enough, all right? You could obviously charge less than that, but I'm showing you this because with the group model, this is way more scalable. You can spend less time, train more kids, have a greater impact, have more energy at your sessions. Um, but this is going to skyrocket your revenue per customer because if you're not used to selling these sort of packages, all right, your revenue per customer is going to completely change to the next level because now there's way more money coming in upfront from our clients versus them paying per session, which is the normal model that most trainers are using right now in this industry. Okay. And that's how you can get your revenue per customer way higher. All right. Now, the second thing that I want to break down here, I say loop back into clinics at members only discount. So these higher ticket customers, we can sell them other types of services like the clinic that I just mentioned. So they can come into that at a discount. Okay. Uh, they can come into other sorts of things like this, right? So the third here is selling a problem solving component. Now, right now, this is one of my favorite things to, to put together with coaches. Um, and you can sell this as its own service. So this could be like how to get a college scholarship, um, game reviews, nutrition, accountability, speed, speed performance training, mindset training. These are the sort of things that are really, really scalable in this industry that most coaches, like they offer this already, but they don't package together and, and actually make a real offer. So this is something that allows you to add a new feature into your business at a higher price point. So let me give you a good example. Okay. So these clients here that you're selling at a high ticket commitment, this could be high ticket for uh, training. So it's like they're coming once a week. There's accountability. Um, they have some sort of access to like an online component where they have drills that they can go through. Um, and you could have like a monthly call with them. And then separately, you can have an option where if they want one more one-on-one -on -one uh, counseling with scholarship advice. You can have a program set up that is specific one-on-one -on -one for them. And that's like a, a three to five K investment that parents will make. If you know actually how to lead them through the, through the recruiting journey and how, how to help them get scholarships, people will pay a lot of money for that. If you have it set up as an actual service. So this is why your revenue per customer, it's not just dependent on what you're currently selling. It's, it's about creating new offers, new things, and bundling that together like really nicely for your clients and just offering it, giving it to them, All right? Not every single customer is going to take you up on this, but these are the things that can help you increase the revenue per customer, the RPC that we're talking about. All right, so those are the three ways to do this. If you have any questions for me, want to get on a call with me, go right below this video. You can see my phone number right there. I'd love to chat with you. And like I said, you can grow your business instantly without having to get new clients all right this is a really cool way to grow your business and some coaches that we work with like they can have really like well put together six-figure businesses with like 30 clients all right it's it's going to come down to the revenue per customer and this is why we, if we do the first thing first if you look at the actual numbers like i showed you at the beginning all of this stuff is going to come down to what your offers are, how committed your clients are, and what else are we doing on the back end to market to your customers to get them to start spending more money in an ethical way, right? If you have more of a service you can offer people, we need to start offering that, all right? And that's the whole point of this video. Hopefully this helps. Go right below this video if you want to chat with me. You'll see my phone number. Send me a text. I'd love to speak with you.